The Berkshire County town of Beckett is near and dear to Jed Thompson and his partner Nathan Hanford. And so when it came time to name their store on Pittsfield North Street, they chose to honor their hometown by naming it after the original name for Beckett, Township 4. Uniquely specializing in local flowers as well as antiques and art, Township 4 is more than a store, it's an experience. But as executive producer Tony Dunn shows us, it's community that lies at the heart of Jed and Nathan's creation. I wanted the store to be more than just a flower shop. I wanted the store to be more than just an antique shop. And I wanted it to be more than just an art gallery. I wanted to combine all three so that you have a wonderful experience when you come in. And so when you come to us, we don't, we don't do traditional flowers. We try to buy as much locally and we try to grow as much locally as we can as well. In the past five years, we've all experienced uh, a a resurgence, I'll say a resurgence of local vorism. Now, a hundred years ago, that wasn't a word because you bought everything local, or you made it, or you grew it yourself. So having those local flowers really does draw people in because they can relate to these towns or these locations or these farmers um, that grow these flowers and they can say, oh yes, I know Anna or I know of uh, Nom Keg. And they love the fact that we're buying from a nonprofit organization in that case, uh, which is preserving that area. Okay, and do you have other ones like that? Um, I do and I can also create something for you if you want. Oh, so that would be nice. I love to create. And as any artist will, will tell you, uh, sometimes I make wonders and sometimes I remake, this is a confession right here, sometimes I remake an arrangement three or four times. But I do have flowers that I love. So in terms of what's being grown locally, there are some really unique, interesting things that don't actually travel very well. Chocolate cosmos, these are tiny little chocolate colored flowers that smell like chocolate. And they're absolutely incredible from a floral standpoint because you just don't see them at the market. Or if you do, you know, you can't get a whole lot of them. And so to bring those unique flowers, um, coupled with some traditional flowers, it's just fun to do that um, and fun to provide that uh, in terms of floristry. So art is, is very important to us, both myself and my partner, Nathan. Um, he, is a, he is an artist in his, uh, in his own right. I consider myself to be an artist in terms of flowers. And the art that we have selected in here, I feel it epitomizes both New England and the Berkshires because we have both Berkshire and New England artists represented. So what I'm looking for in antiques is something that's authentic, that resonates with me. When you hold something that has age to it and that has patina to it that you can't duplicate, you'll feel it. And it could be something as simple as a handle of a sigh, you know, a classic, you know, to cut grain with. And it's not by itself a terribly valuable item, but when you mount it inside your, uh, a cabin or inside your, your house or your workshop, it becomes a, a more than just a handle. It becomes um, a piece of that uh, space. So we wanted to provide an, an opportunity where people could actually walk in and take a look at a vignette or a space inside our store, maybe, maybe a table length, and you could see objects on there or art on the wall or a plant in a pot, and you could say, you know what, I could have that in my house. And so we did want to merge and meld um, the plants and the art and the local work and the outdoors and the indoors all together and keep it authentic. They say it takes a village to raise a, a kid. It takes a, a village to support small businesses. So community is extraordinarily important, uh, especially here in the Berkshires. Actually, it's a large area geographically, but with, just, with a, such a small population. When you spend your money here, I'm gonna to go to a local farmer and buy those flowers when I can. And they're gonna go and spend that money locally at other businesses who may then in turn come back to me and, and, and buy flowers from me. And admittedly, I may not be the cheapest. I can't compete. And I'm not going to compete with big box stores. 
But when you come to me, you're coming to me for my knowledge, my expertise, and I feel like you can get more from a small business owner who specializes than you can from going to a big box store that generalizes.